but mainly she'll let you do the talking. Why? Just be honest about how you feel. Okay. And when all this is over, if you want to move to a new school, I can look into that. This is what you want, isn't it? There's no right or wrong answer. But I've caused you so much trouble. No, you haven't. You must be so ashamed of me. Hey. Hey, look at me. Look at me. If you want to walk out of here right now, then that's what we'll do. Yes, please. Lady, please. You once need a second step to there. Yeah, I know. That's what I want to say. Okay. Bleeding seems to have slowed. Good. BP is 110 over 70. Okay. Looks like we are over the worst. Do you reckon? Do some repair work to do that. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. You're just peachy, aren't you? Uh, to like back home, please. Has your mum told you the news? Does he know too? Do they all know? Shut up and breathe. I decided to stick around. I said breathe, you stupid girl. your suit, you know? See what Holby might still have to offer me. Chloe. Come. Right. We finish up here. I'll go. Please, Evan. You can tell me anything. But, like, my mum's been lying to me my whole life. Like, I've got some mystery half-brother wandering around the hospital. What? Yeah, so you turning up out of the blue pills into total insignificance compared to finding out that Dominic Copeland is your brother. I've been doing some digging. Yeah. She was in hospital 30 years ago with a back injury under a different name. I think it might have been a stage name. Uh, where'd you find that? I think not revealing my sources. What was she called? Molly Pecker. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Hey, it's all here in black and white. Molly Pecker. <laughs> Does it ring a bell? No. Not at all. Just leave her in peace. Don't want to nail her on the warpath. Are you 
that you did raise up to now. Nothing. Give me that. Oh. Well, that explains everything. I wanted to tell you that you were right. Sorry? Dala isn't going to go through with it. Right. We didn't even make it into the council's office. How do you feel about that? Despite what you may think, I only want what's best for Dala. I know you do. But I owe you an apology for what I said. I had no right. You're upset. That's no excuse. Well, I excuse you. <laughs> Evan, where's Chloe? Not sure. Right. She told me about Don. Yeah? I'm sorry she's so broken about it. Yeah, me too. Look, I know I'm out of the picture, but if there's anything I can do... Thanks. Did you have anything to do with her getting that email? What email? Forget it. Naylor, about patient in, uh... You're in the bad books. I don't think I'm allowed to talk to you. <laughs> A dark weekend? film that you remember me from? I knew it. That psychological horror about that crazy cult. Yeah, that just about sums it up. I spent most of my time on screen stark naked. Yes, true, but it wasn't gratuitous, though. Oh, you think? It was all part of the plot. The publicist put out a rumor that the, that the sex scenes were for real. I remember. Well, certainly put bums on seats. You were brilliant. Hardly. I'm serious. So am I. So what happened next? Well, most of the parts that I was offered in, entailed me getting my kit off. Yeah. And you know, the papers, they wrote so much about the movie that I vowed that I would never do another movie that was slightly dodgy. But there must have been other roles, mm. offers. <laughs> oh, I turned down so many scripts that my agent binned me. What a fool. Yeah, well, then I got a reputation for being difficult, and before you know it, the phone stops ringing. That film, it stuck with me for years. You were so good. Thank you. And uh, then I got my cancer diagnosis and I stopped going for auditions. I had a look at your notes. Oh, slightly creepy. You're in remission, aren't you? Now I've just got this to deal with. Valve replacement is routine stuff these days, you know. Oh, uh, it doesn't feel like it. A couple months recovery and you're completely back to normal. Well, that's what our friend says. Then you can get back to the acting. Well, you know, two or three times a year, I meet someone like you who, who goes on about that flaming film and about how amazing I was. Because it's true. It cost me my career. People are always being rediscovered. Maybe it's your turn. I think it's a little late for that. Why? Oh, I don't know. What do you do know better than most? Is that life's too short? Well, you've got that right. Have the op. Back to the world. To sin to waste a talent like yours. Besides, you know, keep me out of the bad books with our friend. <laughs>